with each other. It's just through a significant amount of training because when we are fighting in armor, the, the sword is actually our primary mode of defense. So the body strikes, you try to minimize the number of strikes in the body by placing a sword between the strike and your body. The techniques may be authentic, but the longsword, the weapon of choice, is blunted to avoid serious injury. But in the 14th century, longswords could literally cut someone in two. Battles were a gruesome business. Typically, the knights would enter the battle mounted. Um, most of the knights had their horses. The horses were armored. They were armored. And then you have these legions of uh, foot soldiers in front of them. The foot soldiers were the ones where the actual battle occurred. Lots of queuing, lots of cutting, lots of striking. Um, the knights would be on both sides of this army. And their objective, the knight's objective, is to go plow through this mess and get to the knight on the other side. Because that's where the real fight is with respect to the... Uh,